welcome to another edition of Auto Geek Show Car Garage here in sunny Stewart, Florida. I'm your host, Mike Phillips, and on today's edition, I'm going to show you how to clean the wheels and tires and then put a protective coating on the wheels and dress the tires to give them that deep, dark black look that we all love. Now, every time you step on the brakes, particles come off the brake pads, but also off the rotors, and this is what forms brake dust. And if left on the wheel for too long, it's corrosive. It'll actually start to pit the surface and dull the wheel down. So let me show you some really cool tools and products for cleaning the wheels and tires and then giving them a brand new shine and a deep dark black look to the tire. Today I'm going to show you some products from the DP line. Now to start with, we're going to use the DP wheel cleaner. It's important to know this is non-acid, okay? And that's important because a lot of wheel cleaners have acid in them and they'll actually dull your wheels down. But instead, this uses powerful surfactants. And what they're going to do is they're going to emulsify and loosen the brake dust so they'll wash off. It's so safe, you can actually use it on the paint. And while you're cleaning the wheels, you can also use it on the tires too. So it's kind of a multi-purpose cleaner that's safe for anything. You can use it on clear coated wheels, painted wheels, anodized wheels, even polished aluminum rims. So that's the DP wheel cleaner. Now after we get the wheels and tires clean, we're going to use the gloss tire gel. Now what this is going to do is this is a polymer that's going to actually penetrate into the rubber so it's not just sitting on the surface and this is going to help it to last longer but it's also going to give the tire a really deep dark black look. It's going to last for weeks, even uh, hold up to against repeated washings in fact. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and put some wheel glaze on the rims. And what this is going to do is put a polymer protective coating down and this will help keep the brake dust from actually sticking to the rim in the first place. Now in order to, to use the wheel cleaner, I want to show you a really cool tool here. This is called the Daytona Speedmaster Wheel Brush and it comes in the full size, it also comes in the junior size. And these help you to get into those hard to reach areas. And the cool thing about this is it's flexible. So you can bend this and then you can really reach in there to get to those tight hard to get two areas and clean the brake dust off of everything in front of the wheel and behind the wheel. Now a couple cool features about this is the, the bristles here are actually nylon nylex. They're non-abrasive, chemical resistance, and they're, they have a memory. So after you're done using, just rinse in warm water and they'll regain their shape. This is a very tough uh, core here that's coated with nylon so it won't scratch anything. And it's got a safety tip here so you won't scratch your rims when you're using this. There's also a knuckle guard down here so you won't bang up your knuckles or get any cuts in your skin when you're cleaning your rims. And here's another cool tool we're going to use. These are microfiber gloves. And I'm going to show you how to use these with the wheel wax. And of course I got a tire scrubbing brush to agitate the wheel cleaner to pull off all the brake dust and dirt and road grime off the tires. And then to dry the wheels and tires when we're done, here's a quality microfiber. So let's go ahead and get started cleaning the rims. Before washing your wheels, you want to make sure they're cool to the touch, okay? You never want to wash a hot wheel like you just got done driving the car, you pull in the driveway, the wheels are hot. So let them cool down first. And always just wash one wheel at a time. Don't ever go around the car spraying them down with some kind of wheel cleaner thinking you're going to get to them quick enough. Just do one at a time. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take them with a strong blast of water. We want to wash any loose dirt off the rim and the tire and also just to get the whole wheel and tire wet. So let's do that. Next, we're going to take the DP wheel cleaner. We're going to go ahead and spray the wheel and the tire down. Let those powerful surfactants go to work. I'm going to spray this deep into the where the lug nuts are because you get grime built up down in here. And remember, this is safe for anything. There's no, it's non-acid, so I can get this on the calipers, the rotors, the tire, everything. So now that it's nice and saturated wheel cleaner. I'm going to go ahead and take and just show you how this works. I'm going to bend this. That's just going to allow me to get in here and get the back of the rim, just like that, the spokes there. Work it real good. Come here and get another one and work your way around the rim. But you can see how that works when I'm done. If I want to, I can just take and bend it back, get it straight again. This is also good for getting the whole entire back of the wheel. Okay, you don't have to pull the wheels off to get the entire wheel clean. Just use the Daytona Speedmaster wheel brush. I'm gonna work this in here around the caliper. 
bend this a little bit. There we go. Get that nice, nice and clean. A lot of modern cars have uh, brake calipers that are actually look real nice with your wheel system, so it's nice to have them clean. Look how this fits in this real tight area right down here. Just the, the flexible bristles here just collapse and bend. Allow you to get right in there and get everything clean. Okay, next I'm gonna take and use a, this is a horse hair brush. I'm gonna take and actually spray a little bit of the DP wheel cleaner on here. And now I'm gonna get the face of the rims. This is real soft, so it's not gonna put any scratches in anything. Come down here and get the face really good. Come in here and by the lug nuts, get in there real good. Get the road grime and the brake dust out of there. There we go. Get those a good scrubbing around the valve stem here. And then before everything dries, I'm gonna go ahead and this is just a utility brush that's really good for cleaning the tires. We wanna get the tires really clean. I'll put some DP wheel clear on there. And that's gonna help the tire gel to better penetrate into the rubber so it'll look better and it'll last longer. Okay, and then after you get that good and scrubbed, it's time to give it a strong blast of water, clean off all the brake dust. There we go. Then at that point, now we're ready to dry this off and we can put the wheel wax on and we can put the tire dressing on. I wanted to show you this clay too. A lot of times um, if you have a clear coated finish like these rims here have, if you feel them and you feel any bonnet contaminants, you can actually clay those too. And this is the DP Universal Detailing Clay. Come down here and clay your rims before you put the wheel glaze on. Okay, so this is a guzzler waffle weave. I'm just gonna come down here and I don't want to get any water spots on my rims now that they're nice and clean. So I'm going to go ahead and get the water off of them. And then we'll be ready to put the wheel glaze on. And I'll show you how to use those microfiber gloves for that. And then we can take and put the dressing on the tires. Now that the wheels are clean and dry, the next step is to put the wheel glaze on the rim. Now, this isn't a car wax, like a Carnuba car wax. This is actually a synthetic polymer sealant, and it actually has a light cleaning ability to it, and that's important because you want to make sure that any embedded road grime or brake dust is removed out of the surface, not just off the surface, and clean, have that light cleaning action actually is going to help the polymers to bond really tight to the surface. And that's going to help the polymers to protect better and protect longer. So that is the DP wheel glaze. Now, you could take and apply this with a little yellow applicator like you would put wax on a car, but let me show you something kind of cool. This is a microfiber glove, and microfiber is soft and gentle. And if you look real closely at these rims, these are actually have a high gloss, smooth finish. So you never want to touch this with anything that might scratch, it'll dull it down. So these microfiber gloves are perfect for putting a wax on because they're soft and gentle. Now the way you use this is you just take your fingers and you reach in here to the wheel glaze, you grab some wax, and before you put it on, start to rub this into the gloves a little bit to kind of pre-wet them with the wax itself, the glaze. Then we're going to come down here and we're just going to start to put this on, just like you would put lotion on your face. You can just take and rub this in. Because my finger is able to separate out, I can get into these intricate areas like this. And the idea here is just to gently rub this product in, leave a nice thin coating. And you want to let that coating dry to a light haze, then you can buff it off to a high shine. Just like that. And of course you would continue working your way around the rest of the wheel and then do one wheel at a time. So, but that's how that works. I'm going to take this glove off. Then you can save these, wash them, and reuse them again the next time you want to put the DP wheel glaze on your rims. Put this out of the way. Then after that dries to a haze, come back with the clean dry microfiber and just buff that off to a high shine. Now they're protected and they feel very, very slick. Okay, so that's gonna again, it's gonna help 
break dust from accumulating on the rim. It'll make washing them in the future a lot faster and a lot easier too. Now that the tires are cleaned and sealed with the wheel glaze, the next step is to put the finishing touch on your wheels and tires, and that's to dress the tires. For that, we're going to use the DP Gloss Gel. And this is actually a polymer coating that, not, that doesn't just sit on the surface, it actually penetrates in and bonds to the surface. And what this does is it enables it to withhold repeated washings and exposure to inclement weather, like rainy weather. Now, there's no solvents in this, it's water-based, there's also no petroleum distillates, so it won't harm your rubber tires and won't cause them to dry out and crack, and that's very important. So to use this, we're going to use a tire swipe, and it's always handy to have you know a bunch of these on hand. So that way you can always use a fresh one when you go to dress your tires. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to apply some of this just to the face. I'm going to show you a little tip. Two tips here. After you put some on the tire swipe, take and push it into the foam a little bit and just use your finger for this. That way you don't just put a big old glob right onto the tire. And also, since I want to get the tire dressing really close to the edge of the rim, I want to take and put some right here into the edge of the tire swipe so it's wet with product. Okay. So I'm going to take and push this in. And then, of course, as I push on this, it'll release product because it's a foam onto the tire. So just like that. It takes a few extra seconds. I'm just going to take and run this up to the tire. Get it right up to the edge of the rim, push on a little bit, draw it across the tire, work it in. Just like that. And that creates a deep, dark, rich gloss to the tire. Makes them look better than new. And that shine's gonna hold up too. Then you just take and finish doing the rest of the tire, hit all four tires, and let that product cure and if you want a little higher gloss you can actually let it cure for about 30 minutes and then put a second coat on. Now if you want a flat or a matte finish then you could take and wipe that down with just a damp cloth and it'll kind of tone the shine down a little bit. So you can kind of control either a high gloss or a matte finish depending on what your personal preferences are. And then this car will be ready to take for a cruise. That's it for this edition. For more information on anything you've seen here today, visit autogeek.net and on the left hand side, look for a text link that says shop by brand and click on it. Then look for DP or Detailer's Pride and click on that. If you want to watch more of our how-to videos, in the upper right hand corner, look for a logo that says show car garage and click on it. If you have any questions at all, call us at 1-800-869-3011 where our friendly staff is always ready to answer your questions. And don't forget to swing by our fun and friendly discussion forum. That's where you'll find me answering questions and posting new how-to articles. I'm your host, Mike Phillips, and I'll see you on the next edition of Auto Geek Show Car Garage.